Hi, I'm Jason O'Dell, and this is a Capture NX2 tip. In this example, I've got a landscape shot where I've accidentally used my polarizer a little bit too strong in a direction that caused uneven polarization in the sky. And this can happen very easily when you're in the field. You sometimes over-rotate the polarizer. You're switching between landscape and portrait orientation on your tripod. And it can sometimes be hard to, do, to notice whether or not your polarization is too strong. And it makes this otherwise interesting photo a little bit uneven. So what I like to do is correct the sky and make it more uniform. And so I've already gone through and laid in all my retouching fixes. I've got rid of my dust spots. I've done my global color corrections with LCH editor. And now I'm ready to fix this upper right hand part of the sky. What I want to do is lighten it up, make it look like this portion of the sky. And the way I can do that is with a color control point. So I'm going to grab a color control point icon from the toolbar and place the color control point right here on my image. I adjust the size of the control point. And at this point, uh, I have a couple of options available to me. And one of them would be to try to adjust the brightness, contrast, and saturation sliders to try to match the color over here. But since I want to match this color, what I'm going to do is something even easier. I'm going to go down to the color picker which is in the color control point item in the edit list and I'm going to click on the color swatch here and what that does is opens up my color picker from here let me just move this from here uh, I can pick any color in this palette that I want now that would be a little bit awkward to do because I'm not sure which color of blue this is but I've got an eyedropper right here so I'm going to click this eyedropper tool and then go over to my normal looking sky, the one that doesn't look black, and click on it. And when I do that, I just click OK, notice that the sky is now a nice uniform matching color. And if I want to make this control point a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller to feather in this effect, I can. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. And that's it. That's all you've got to do. Now I'm ready to move on, do my final touches like sharpening up the image, and I've got something that looks pretty reasonable compared to a very uh, uneven, overpolarized sky.